Bitcoin is nearing its all-time high again. Naturally, that leads to people looking into setting up their own little money printer and getting into the business of crypto mining. I'm here to talk about the realities of running one of the newest and most efficient miners you'll be able to get your hands on today, the S19J Pro. My name is Nicholas Johnson, and this is the Space Warehouse. We'll start with the part that you do want to hear, income. A single S19J Pro running 24 hours a day will provide you with something in the neighborhood of $46 a day, equivalent in Bitcoin. That's over $1,300 a month, and all you need to feed it is electricity and fresh air. The currency you'll earn is in Bitcoin, which means as long as you keep it in your secure wallet, the value you earn goes up and down with the market. It's not about the price of Bitcoin when you mine it, it's all about the price of Bitcoin when you sell it. That is to say that all the money that you've ever mined will move in value together as long as it's in your wallet. So if you wait until there's a spike to sell, well then it's as if you mined every bit of that Bitcoin right at the peak. Of course, the same goes for a dip. You can easily run all the numbers about all the profit you're going to make by buying one of these machines and then find yourself making about half as much if there's a big dip, like everybody who got into it in what, March and April of this year. This Bitcoin miner is small enough that it'll fit just about anywhere. Although we'll talk about it in a minute how you might not want to actually put it anywhere. So that's great. Easy money. Now let's go over some of the realities of running one of these machines. First, how nice is it that you can just plug in a metal box with some fans and it'll create a thousand bucks a month, seemingly out of thin air? Unfortunately, each one of these metal boxes costs about $10,000 to buy right now. So there's a bit of a financial barrier to entry with the S19J Pro. Also, you can't just give it the power that comes out of the normal outlets from your wall. In America, at least, that's generally 120 volts and mostly at 15 amps. With the exception of the plug that goes to your stove, your central air, and your water. Water heater. But each of those lines will be properly sized for the things that they're already doing, so adding a Bitcoin miner to them will almost certainly pop a breaker or overload the line. No matter, you say, I'll just start doing my laundry at the laundromat and I'll use that plug. Good idea, and that'll work great to power your new S19J Pro. Now make sure you've got a 30 amp breaker because these puppies will pull 3000 to 3300 watts depending on which model you got. Now that you've got it powered, let's talk about how much noise it's going to make. I went out to a series of different environments with a decibel meter just to see how loud stuff is in general. Standing next to a running washing machine, 55 decibels. This hair dryer puts out sound in the high 70s. A big wet vac hits 77 decibels. Standing at the edge of a highway in the 70s or 80s when cars go by. Yelling at the top of my lungs from an arm's length away, 100 decibels. And finally, standing in a room next to an S19J Pro, 80 decibels. So it's a little louder than a hairdryer and a bit quieter than me just standing and screaming at the top of my lungs for 24 hours a day in your laundry room. About the amount of noise that you would hear standing at the edge of a freeway, coming out of a tiny metal box at all times. No bother, you say. My laundry room's in the basement and I'll just insulate the door so you can't hear it. Great, perfect segue. Let's talk about heat. This miner would prefer to run in an environment that's between 5 and 35 degrees Celsius. That's 41 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And from its exhaust port, this S19J Pro will be pumping out air that's 135 degrees, up to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. It's not a weak fan either. There's actually four of them and they're all running at above 5,000 RPM. Think of the amount of hot air that's coming out of a hair dryer. Hair dryers are between 1,200 and 1,500 watts. This thing will be pushing out more than 3,000 watts, with most of that power being converted into heat. If you were to shut it into the laundry room and close the door, it'll heat up that room to above 95 degrees Fahrenheit in a matter of minutes and then it'll just shut itself off. It has a safety feature to shut itself off if it gets too hot. Which is why so many of us work so hard on our ventilation systems. For mine, I built a little 8x8 room in the back of my warehouse and then I installed an industrial fan at the back of that room strong enough to suck out the entire volume of the room every six seconds. And then on the opposite side of that room, I have 12 square feet of filtered openings to replace that air in the room constantly. Which, going back to the noise, when you open up a 12 square foot hole in the wall, it's gonna get loud again. The final hurdle to jump is internet. Your mine is gonna need 24 hour connectivity. It doesn't use very much bandwidth at all, and setting it up is actually really simple. But if your plan to steer around the obstacles of heat and noise are to put it in a shed in the backyard, just make sure you plan for A, 240 volt power, B, an all weather ethernet cable that reaches out there, and C, ventilation such that the environment will stay between 41 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit without getting any weather in there. Because you're also gonna need to keep it very, very dry and free from the prying eyes of anyone who might peek in there and realize you've got a totally untraceable $10,000 box about the size of a carry-on luggage that could easily be stolen and set up in a new location with no real way of tracking it down. So if you can come up with a plan for a probably $11,000 initial investment, 240 volts of power, a way to give it fresh air to breathe, and finding a place to put all the heat that's going to come out of it, a place where it can cause a ton of noise without bothering anyone, and a place that it will never get wet, then welcome to the wonderful world of ASIC mining. 
or farming. Follow me on Instagram for a bunch of stuff that's completely unrelated to this subject.